themselves in a position to be number one and to have this long running home streak. Nice move. Tulson scores a good put in his class over his nearly two decades at Villanova. Are guys like Jalen Brunson, like Ryan Archidiakono, like Kyle Lowry. That's the company that mentally he puts Jeremiah Robinson Earl in. Made the extra pass here. Samuels to Bay to Gillespie. What's going on, everyone? Welcome to episode three of Inside the Film Room. We're going to take a look at attacking from the perimeter and getting into a post up as a guard. So if you're a guard that is has the ability to utilize your body, whether it's a mismatch situation or you need to counter instead of changing speed or changing direction, it's a great option to have, especially if you have space on one side of the floor. So you're going to see Jake Tolson here. Pre BYU, he's going to try to attack off the perimeter here. And he's got this whole side, the whole left side to play with. So he tries to attack baseline. Defense cuts him off. They do a good job with the foot fight to contain the basketball. So in these situations, you do have the option to change speed, right, or change direction and try to create a new angle for yourself. But Tolson here, he decides to get into this post up. So he spins into the post up, protects the ball with the outside hand. And again, utilizes his body, creates that, this contact with the bump, right? Trying to get to the middle of the floor. So his options now out of the post up would be to drop back to the baseline or play and try to get to a shot here to the middle of the floor. Or his last option is if a defender tries to commit a help defender, he's got kickouts. So you can see his four teammates, they space the floor, right? Especially on the weak side here with number four and number two in the corner. Right? They're ready to receive that kick out if their defenders try to help right, and pull into the basketball. But since BYU is generally a good outside perimeter shooting team, these defenders stay attached, which allows Tolson now to, again, play with good pace out of the post up. He has space to play with, right, and he's able to utilize this as more of an isolation situation where he can get to a go-to with the jump hook, where he's able to finish and be under control. So again, having that space to be able to get into the post up, he has time to read, right, and then he's able to play under control Right again, utilizing his body and then playing through the contact to get to a finish. So again, in a situation where you may have a mismatch or if, even if you don't have the mismatch, right, it's another great option to have to try to create a play for yourself with that space, right, other than the options of changing speeds with a move or changing direction. The other option here is again in transition is a kick out. So in transition, Colin Gillespie here, right? Change the size of the floor, can't, doesn't, isn't able to get to the rim, doesn't have any kickouts or early ahead in the possession. So now he has this space on the right side of the floor, gets into his post up. And again, he doesn't have the mismatch here, but he is, he's able to utilize his body, right? And create contact. If you ever see him play, right? He does a great job of that. So again, now he's just able to play with pace. He's got his teammates here on the perimeter moving, right? They're trying to get the spots where you know, if the defense commits, they can, he can kick out to them. You get this back cut here from 24. His teammates here on the weak side, Sadiq Bay and number three, they're going to interchange. So on this interchange and now with the kick out, he gets to the middle of the floor. He doesn't have a shot, but now he's able to create a kick out opportunity, which is going to lead to, you know, an advantage here. This interchange right here forces two to the basketball on Sadiq Bay. And now it's going to be a trickle to trickle effect where it becomes a scramble. Number three, he, would, he has a rhythm shot here. He's a lower percentage three-point shooter. So instead of taking the shot, he's going to give it up. Um, Colin, Colin Gillespie, he was in the, you know, here with the post up. He was in the middle of the floor. And you should always have, you know, t be telling your players you get in and you get out. So if you get into the middle of the paint or get towards the rim and then you kick out, immediately respace the floor. So he respaces, steps into his catch, right? He's ready to shoot, forces number two to chase. Plays off two in a crowd. You get all four defenders now. I'm sorry, all five defenders now to collapse the paint. And this is where the scramble happens. You just get good ball movement, player movement. You, know, you get the lift from Sadiq Bey again on this kick out here from 23. He lifts, allows for uh, Colin Gillespie to respace to the corner. You get the one more and you get the rhythm shot. So again, there's options out of the you know, out of the post up where you're able to finish around the rim if you have that space and, you know, you have more of that one-on-one -on -one 
And then there's also those kick out opportunities, right? If you get into, you know, into the middle floor, it's crowded, right? And you want to, you know, you're not comfortable making a play, you're able to kick out. And now that can obviously lead to either a rhythm shot or it can lead to a ball reversal or a breakdown in your offense. So again, another great option to have if, you know, the, your defender initially cuts you off, right? Or if you come down in transition, you have space, just being able to get into a post up and then be able to create a play for yourself or for your team.